for the last eight years. What they want to do is shut down debate. Mr. Speaker, Canadians want the freedom to express themselves without government control. Ask the honourable member to put his prop down, please. Okay, the Liberals' Christia Freeland is basically going to lower prices of groceries and make housing more affordable. Check it out. If it comes Bill C-56 <laughs> will deliver real concrete solutions. More competition will help ease sticker shock at the grocery checkout counter. And eliminating the GST on rental housing will get more homes built faster so that more Canadians have an affordable place to call home. Bill C-56 is an important step in our plan to continue delivering on what matters most to Canadians, and I encourage my colleagues to support its swift passage. Thank you very much. Many years ago, this finance minister said interest rates would stay low for a very long time. Then she dumped hundreds of billions of dollars of fuel on the inflationary fire, giving Canadians the most rapid interest rate hikes not seen in the last three decades. In November, she said she would balance the budget and be careful not to pour fuel on the inflationary fire that she started, then turned around and dumped a $63 billion jerry can of fuel on that inflationary fire that she started. Two months ago, she was doing victory laps, saying that she stopped inflation. It's gone up 43% since then. And now, her deficits fueled inflation and put Canadians most at risk now in the G7 for a mortgage default crisis. When will she balance the budget so Canadians don't lose their homes? Right. Good job. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, I would like to point out that that question had actually nothing to do with the legislation <laughs> we are presenting. But let me take a moment to uh, clarify uh, some of the in incorrect uh, assertions embedded in that question. It's really not sure. Do you believe that uh, this is going to work? I think it's going to help a couple businesses. Uh, now, here's something else. This is C three two three. That's uh, in its first reading. Um, it's uh, yeah. It's it's good that they're doing this. It's um, hard on the heart. Check it out. Right now, societally, we are paying for mental anguish in the most extreme way possible when looking at attempted suicide rates and deaths. It is clear from the numbers that many people are waiting until the point of crisis. That could mean too many hospital stays and perhaps cycling through our criminal justice system instead of receiving treatment. Or worse, like we heard recently when a woman came forth publicly in August of 2023 to explain how she was having a mental health crisis and a clinician, shockingly, at Vancouver General Hospital suggested medical assistance in dying made as an option. Bill C-323, an act to amend the Excise Tax Act, works to put health service providers on equal footing when people come to them for mental health assistance. And I'm proud to second this bill today and speak to it today. 